So I just want to highlight a few things about tourism in Zanzibar. First of all, Zanzibar and Arusha are two entities that you cannot separate. We are very highly dependent in terms of our tourism. Most of the tourists that come into Zanzibar through chartered flights or scheduled flights eventually end up here in Arusha. So there's a greater need for collaboration and I would like to take this moment to recognize your very own regional commissioner who highlighted this issue to my, to, to my boss, His Excellency the President, when he was here a few weeks ago regarding the need for Arusha and Zanzibar to continue to provide synergy so that the tourism sector in these two areas can continue to reach greater heights. That's number one. Number two, from our part in Zanzibar, we are on a journey right now to add value into the tourism product. Normally when you talk about Zanzibar, we talk about tourism in the sense of beach resorts and hotels, but now we see there's a need to go and add value into the tourism sector, to provide more activities for our tourists when they come to Zanzibar. And I think this will create a win-win scenario for all of us. Right now, the return rate for tourists in Zanzibar is less than 20%. So if you take 10 tourists, only two return to Zanzibar. That's not good for Zanzibar, it's not good for Arusha. And we recognize the existing gap, which is why through my ministry, we have taken deliberate efforts to highlight on the need of adding more value to the sector by investing in our attractions, especially heritage attractions, including Stone Town. But we have more than Stone Town. We also have more than 84 heritage sites in Zanzibar that we have still not opened up to the tourism industry. So one area that we want to focus on is to add value into our heritage tourism. The other area is on conference tourism. Zanzibar is a very critical destination for conference tourism. Right now, the only missing component is the right facilities to be able to host events, to be able to host meetings. So we are on a journey right now to ensure that we are investing on a multi-purpose, world-class convention center that will put Zanzibar on the map as a destination for convention tourism as well as my services. These are good efforts. But then on the other hand, on the other hand, we have embarked on a journey to invest in our small, small islands. Zanzibar is known for Nguja and Pemba, but we have more than 52 small islands. So far, we have invested in 17 of those islands with some of the world-class tourism resorts and villas, including those that are on land, but those that are on water. On the 15th of this month, we're expecting to open up one of our premier products, the Bawe Kakun Collection, and I would like to take this opportunity to invite all of you to come to Zanzibar to witness this historical event. Thank you to the effort from His Excellency the President for his permission or for allowing us to continue to be innovative and creative in this area.